Hello, a very good morning to you, dinky do everybody. It's just me, Scotty McClue. Just after 10 o'clock, of course, on Friday morning, a very, very warm welcome, a very exciting day, and a very exciting Friday. I hope you're well. I hope you managed to catch us last night. And if not, welcome, welcome, welcome now. Good to have you with us. Come and join us. You're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet. Hashtag Floatai. Welcome, welcome, I say, to our TikTok for this Friday morning. And make sure you tell everyone about it. Tell Ted to tell Ted to tell Ted that you are watching Scotty McClue live on TikTok just for you. How amazing is that? Come and join us. Follow us as soon as you come on, of course, because we've got so much to get through today and there's always so little time to do it in. So a very warm welcome to you. Thanks, Mark. Good to have you with us, Tom and Tyler. Welcome, welcome. If you're scrolling, stop scrolling because you've arrived exactly where you want to be. This is the big one. This is the one everyone's talking about. This is the one everyone is watching. TikTok is absolutely awash with it. Have you seen Scotty McClue? Have you joined Scotty McClue? Have you followed Scotty McClue? Are you watching Scotty McClue? He is the TikToker. This is the big one. This is your absolute TikTok talk, talk show. Just where you should be and never ever be without a minute of Scotty McClue. If you're scrolling, don't scroll past Stop and watch. Give me five minutes of your time and I will change your life for the better. That's what it's all about, I say. And uh, it's never, ever not worked. So how amazing is that? Hello from Spain, said your German friend, Red Bull. We love to have you from España. Ja, yeah. And uh, ich Deutsch sprechen. Ich bin ein Auslander. Nicht verstehen. Lovely to have you all with us. And dinky do, I say from Scotty McClure. Never stroll past. Always stop. Because if you miss a moment of Scotty McClure, you've missed a moment of life. Is that what you want to do? Is that how you like to roll? I ask you. Not at all. Dinky do. Hello, how are you, Robert? How lovely to have you with us, and dinky do. I am very well, and I hope you are too. A happy Friday morning to everybody who's just joined us. Lots happening here, and lots to talk about. Uh, and I think the football's going to finish this weekend, meaning we'll get our soap operas back on time. Isn't that wonderful? I think football should be on a dedicated channel. I don't think we should all be forced to watch it or watch nothing, you know, that sort of thing. I can't go out, it's too hot. Is it roasting? What time have you got in Espana Red Bull? Good morning, good morning, Jeff. Lovely to have you with us and a big dinky do from Scotty McClue, of course, live on TikTok just for you. Try and catch us in the evenings. I know we pop up at random times, but try and catch us in the evenings and follow us as soon as you come on. Fantastic. We got get the followers up. I say that's big. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome, welcome to Scotty McClue, live on TikTok, just for you, saying dig you do, your babe material, I thank you, you are very, very kind, follow us as soon as you come on guys, Will Palmer, dig you do, lovely to have you with us, it's 11.07 in the morning, <laughs> so you're ahead of us, uh, wonderful, you're one hour ahead, uh, shout out, wide awake, Shout out to Sleepy Sleepy Boy, supposed to be wide awake, trying to troll. No way. We're going to give you a lifetime ban for trying. There you go. Guys, wide awake, who's actually sound asleep, is going down the swanee. Bye-bye. There we are. Fantastic. Lovely. That's him. What we do is anybody that trolls us straight down the swanee. Instant toast. Scotty just saying hello before I go to sleep. Sean, you should be asleep, dinky do. What's under the hat, says Carson. Carson, if only you knew what was under the hat. All the world's best kept secrets are under that hat. <laughs> Scotty, how are you, my friend? Hi from Australia, true blue. 
I love to have you with us from Australia. I'm fine, thanks, Liam. Always good to have you with us, by the way, everybody. Come and join us, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Start tapping your phone, folks. Yeah, do the big thing. Hi, mates. Hi, true blue. Are you dinky, do I say? <coughs> That's what it's all about, fair dinkum. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. There we go. Good to have you all here. That's what I say. Joe's just joined us. If you're joining us, don't scroll past, guys. Stick with us, because otherwise you miss out on the Scotty McClue chit-chat. That's not good for you. That's not a good look for you. I was out stargazing in the mountains with a friend, and I got home late. Sean, what's it like? Do you have very clear skies? Are they light blue, or are they pitch dark with all the stars? Tell us more. Are you into astronomy? You know, <clears throat> do you see a lot in the Arizona desert? Do tell. The world needs to know what the world is like. Fantastic. There we are. Absolutely. I can tell you. Uh, now then, are there any uh, flat earth people out there? Because we had a discussion the other night on is the earth round or is the earth flat? How very interesting. If it was flat, surely you would fall off the edge. That's what I say. What's your favorite brand of butter? Well, hello, I can't advertise on here, but it begins, it's Danish, Danish, and it begins with an L. <laughs> I can tell you, I can tell you that much for nothing. And I like the spreadable. There we are. Fantastic. Uh, do come and join us as soon as you possibly can. Get all your other TikTokers to join us. Everybody on TikTok should be watching Scotty McClue right now. Nobody should be without McClue for even a day. You know, it's not good for you. Mine too. I thought you'd say that. Hello, my name is Alf. I thought you would probably say that, Alf. And lovely to have you with us on that one, Dinky. <laughs> Fantastic. Do come and join us. The earth is pineapple shaped. Wow, Roy. Amazing. I shall have another look at that. That's very, very interesting. And very powerful, of course, Roy, as you well know. So there you go. Good morning, Flotai Welsh. How lovely to have you with us, Welsh Logan. Well, Slogan, I hope you are well and dinky too. Hashtag float eye, all uppercase. This is big. Welcome, welcome. The earth is pineapple shaped. Have we ever heard that before? Do come and tell us. There we are. What shape do you think the earth is? Is it flat or is it round? There we are. Molly Scotty sending you lots of hugs and kisses. Wolf, please. You're such a lovely, lovely person. And I say dinky do to you. Fantastic stuff. Uh, lots and lots of great feedback, guys. Thank you very much for that. Do keep following me as soon as you come on, though. It's very, very important. And never, ever scroll past Scotty McClue. There you are, because you will just miss out. Bob, good morning to you. Bob McElroy's just joined us, guys. How lovely to have you with us, Bob. There's uh, the yellow and black army says it's coming home. Do you think football is coming home? If it's coming home, is it coming home to England? I ask you. Oi, oi, Scotty. Good morning to you. Good morning. Yes, where I'm at, southern Arizona. It's called the astronomy capital of the world. Sean, this is so interesting. So what kind of things are you seeing? How close are you? Can you see the plow? Scotty McClue adores the plough. I need to see the plough. Why do I need to see the plough? Are there any astronomers out there who can tell me? I'm related to William Wallace. I think we all are, Agro. Uh, it's better. So there you are. The official observatory of the Vatican is out here, and the university makes the mirrors for Hubble. Wow, Sean, this is huge. We've got Jodrell Bank. In the UK, is that a biggie compared with what you've got in America? What's the plan today, Scotty? Wolf, one of the busiest days of my life today. So much to do and so little time to do it in. Incredible. 
the best lord of the internet, Charlie. You're such a kind man. Scotty, I'm filming an advert today. Liam, you will be amazing. I hope we can see you in it. That sounds fabulous. I love that. I used to film a lot of commercials. I was just thinking, 42 years, I used to get up on a Saturday morning and go in and do commercials at the local radio station. Six pounds a script. <laughs> Fantastic. How's your bush anything grown? Well, Welsh, my bush has flowered beautifully. I'm just looking at it. The flowers have gone. It's just a green bush. How amazing is that? Uh, one of the observatories called Kitt Peak has the largest solar telescope at the time it was built. Have you ever heard of Jodrell Bank? I can tell you more about it. It's just south of Manchester. Amazing stuff. In fact, I think it belongs to the University of Manchester. I shall check that up. Uh, Scotty, congratulations on the 16K. Elizabeth Mommy in Texas, I love you. I thank you so much for your kindness. That's beautiful. There we are, 16K. But we need to get that up. That should be sitting at 250K. Gotta go on Zoom. See you later. See you, Harry. Harry Godzilla. Have a lovely time on Zoom. Fantastic. Now then, come and join us as soon as you possibly can. Hayden Dinky Doo, a very good morning from Scotty McClue, just to do you live on TikTok saying Dinky Doo. If you're scrolling, stop right now. You've arrived at your destination. This is where everyone wants to be. Uh, it's coming home, says Sam. Sam Mullen. Do you think so? Mickey. Hi, says Mickey. Think you do, Mickey. Good to have you with us. And welcome, 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 I say. Everybody watching, Scotty McClue, if you are scrolling, stop the new right here. That sounds really interesting. Yes, check it out. J-O-D-R-E-L-L. -L -L. Jodrell. Bank. B-A-N-K. Look it up, see what you get. You should be getting verified float eye, a blue tick. I don't know if I'm big enough yet for that. Is it dressed down Friday, Scotty? Well, it is in the McClue house. I can tell you. <laughs> but I shall smarten up for you all soon. See, I used to be totally clean shaven before the lockdown. Hello, Scotty McClure. Hello, Charlie. The Vatican Observatory is run in conjunction with the University of Arizona and the Holy See. Fabulous. Is Arizona big on Catholicism, Sean? A good evening from Sydney in Australia, Scotty. Lockdown again here. Hope you're well. Ali, I'm so sorry to hear that because am I not right in thinking that Australia had escaped relatively lightly in the pandemic. So, so sorry about your lockdown. Uh, is it coming home, says Ben? Ben, I don't know. I'd, I wouldn't like to predict. You know, mum's the word. Hello, Scotty. I'm Scott Stinnes. Lovely to have you with us, dinky-doo. If you're scrolling, guys, stop scrolling. McClue's live on TikTok. This is the big one. This is the one for you. Nobody should go without Scotty McClue for any length of time. It's not good for you. Hello, dinky -doo. Yes, says Ben. Ben thinks it's coming home. What do we think, everybody? Is football coming home? Is Ben on his own? Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. It's more than Arizona. It's so big in astronomy that the Vatican built theirs there. Well, Sean, of course, if you've got a very good view of the stars, have you ever seen the plow there? Tell me what you've seen. No chance, says Jackman. Yes, says Sam. Jackman thinks football is not coming home to England. Is Jagman correct in his prediction? Would you say? What do you reckon? That's the stuff. Mate, why are you going to every local supermarket? I don't. 
I've never been to any supermarket. You've gone to Ben. I think you're a wee troll, but because you're fairly benign, I shan't give you a lifetime ban. Most trolls just go down the swanee. Okay, Ben, keep that kind of rubbish for other people you want to troll. Okay, follow us as soon as you come on. Dinky do. Uh, thanks for sharing, Mickey. Appreciate it. I hope it's coming home. I've got to work, Emily. Lovely to have you here. Whereabouts in Scotland are you from? From the West Coast, Cameron. There we are, the West of Scotland. Southgate's bringing it home. Oh, no pressure. Right, Ben, thank you. There we are, wonderful stuff. We shall see how things go. Uh, come and join us as soon as you can, guys. Lots to talk about, very little time. We need to get the audience up, start tapping. Tap, 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 tapping me on the nose. Telling 10, sharing, joining us. Thank you very much for following. So we've got so much going on here. David, lovely to have you with us. Fantastic stuff. Welcome. Come and stay. If you're scrolling, you stop scrolling because this is your big opportunity. You've got an opportunity to watch Scotty McClue. That's quite rare. Fantastic. We might also do a Twitter later. So there we are. A Twitter space, which is audio. Okay. Come and join us in that. It means you don't have to look at me for the whole thing. How good is that? Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. Thanks very much, Drew. Good to have you with us. Hugo and anything, come and join us. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClure on Friday morning, and we're live on TikTok. We're asking you if you think the Earth's round or flat. Do tell. Stick your tuppence worth in. Hello. Hiya. Hiya, Mad Cow. How are you? That's your username. I'm not insulting you. Lovely to have you with us, and dinky do, I say. Is the earth round or flat, guys? Make a decision and tell McClue what you think. Always interested in what you think. It's all very well what I think, but it's very important what you think. So is the earth round or flat? That's our big question for this morning. We solve worldwide issues on here. How good are we? It's round, says Mad Cow. Is the earth definitely round? If it was flat, would you not sail over the edge? Is it slightly round? Somebody told us this morning it's pineapple shaped. Thought that was a bit interesting, a very strange, but very interesting. The earth is a cat. Do you think so, Millie? Is it the shape of a cat? There we are. Right. Tell us more about that. Did my last comment show up? My phone froze. Sean, the last comment from you was... The last comment from Sean... Um, from the top of Mount Graham out here. Hello, Scotty McClure. This is Charlie. Hello, Charlie. Happy Friday. Plans for the weekend, McLaren. Very, very busy weekend, but we'll not neglect the lives. Don't worry, you lot will still be included. I think it might be a donut shape, says user 127. Guys, I'm asking if the earth is flat around. We've had a pineapple. We've had a donut. We've had a oval. We've had the earth is a cat. How very, very interesting. Uh, wouldn't the people fall off the bottom if the earth was round? User, that's very interesting, yes. And would the seas not spill? You see? That's very interesting, yes. Surely the sea would spill and we'd have no sea left. I don't know. Do tell us if you think, is the earth spinning? Would the, the gyroscopic effect keep everything stable? I don't know. We need to find out. There must be some scientists watching. The big phrase these days is let's follow the science. Science and mathematics. So a very good comment that actually wouldn't the people follow their Sean, what do you think in Arizona? Is the earth round or flat? That's what we need to know. Or is it pineapple shaped? I think it's so important, the pineapple. It's round. I have it in good authority from Mark. 
Yes, there's that mark of Mark and Mindy. <laughs> there's actually a 916, sorry, 91,639 OLED LED hood 4K 79 inch Alexa TV remote. <laughs> we love it, Dicky Do Kaden. Right, we'll go with that one, Kaden. How good is that? Is the Earth round or flat, guys? If you've just joined us, join in the debate. It's very, very important. Never, ever, ever scroll past Scotty McClue and never, ever, ever troll Scotty McClue. That's what we don't do. It's an oblate spheroid Scotty. Scoop. How very interesting. An oblate spheroid is the Earth. Wow. An oblate spheroid. What's an oblate spheroid? So it's obviously round. Uh, there's, it's spherical. If it was flat, the earth would tip because one side would be heavier. Are you sure about that, user? Because you've got America and South America on one side and you've got Russia on the other side, on Australia. So, I mean, maybe they weigh the same and keep everything balanced. I like your books. I have, I've only written one. Oh, I see. Sorry, sorry, my book's behind me. <laughs> there you go. There's a lot of good stuff there, guys. Excellent. Yes, McClue, building his knowledge. Fantastic. Yes, thank you, Bebop. They are very, very good. I have read them. Now, who else have we got? Not quite a sphere. It's slightly wider at the equator. Well, we know that, but the equator's wider when it's spherical. I can tell that. Maybe it's a triangle. We think it's flat because we're just on one side of the pyramid. Aha. If it wasn't round, it wouldn't have a core. But does it have a core, Blocky? That's what I'm asking. Does the Earth have a core? I know it's got a heartbeat. We know that. Hello from Dunfermline, Scotty. Chip from the Langton. Fantastic. Well, you're not quite the Langton. The Langton is Kirkcaldy. But uh, Dunfermline's quite long as well. Hello from Thurzo, Scotty James. Lovely to have you with us from Thurzo. A very good morning and a very warm welcome. This is what it's all about. I've never seen the Earth's core, so I don't think it has one. And well, just because you haven't seen it doesn't mean it doesn't have one. I mean, I've never actually seen America, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. You see, what I, see where I'm coming from? Uh, there we are. What if the Earth isn't flat, then scientists, astronauts, news, and the government are lying. Okay, Dan, how do you work that out? Because the government usually push the idea that it's round, do they not? They talk about going round the world, where, rather than across the world. What if pictures from space, where it looks spherical, are just distorted? Yeah, maybe the distance is distorting the picture. Because think about radio waves. Medium wave follows, wait for it, the curvature of the Earth. So there must be a curve. I meant if Earth isn't round, apologies, not at all, Kaydan. Oh, this is an awesome debate. It's getting my brain working. Blocky horror. You have a huge brain. It's just that most people's brains are put on hold at the moment because uh, there's nothing happening in the world. Oh, wonderful stuff. You've never been to America. That's your holiday sorted for this year. James, what a top man you are. Dinky do. If the earth was round, why don't balls keep rolling? But why would they stop because it was flat? Why don't they keep rolling to the edge of the earth and fall off? You know, Scotty, I'm up north for a wee holiday. Kareem. You deserve the very best of everything because you are a real top man. I love it. That is fantastic. Follow us, guys, as soon as you come on. Thanks, Bebop, for following. Do you know that I've had 600 odd, well, not everybody's odd, but we've had 600,000 followers, uh, 600,000 viewers, and we've only got 16,000 followers. What's that about? Get following, everybody. Thanks for your beautiful TikTok, Kareem. You're a generous, kind man. 
Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Kareem. Scotty, I feel I could listen to you talk for hours and eight, man. Bebop, that is a very kind thing to say. Most people say to me, would you shut up? <laughs> because if you discuss things that are out with somebody's knowledge, or as we say in Scotland, out with their ken, people get angry. Instead of just doing the decent thing and saying, listen, guys, I don't know what you're talking about, but I'd be very interested in finding out. Okay? So a lot of people are in denial about knowledge and understanding. Scotty McClue is the factory for knowledge and understanding. Information, education, entertainment, all happening live on Scotty McClue's TikTok Lives. Yeah. Now, it's not popular with some young people because it's just so massive. They want five or 10 seconds of, you know, a cat doing a dance. That's TikTok for most young people. But a lot of young people are getting the hang of Scotty McClue and coming and joining us live here. And that's what it's all about, guys. So we have fun chat. We have intelligent chat. We have TikTok. We have great chat. Is the earth round or is the earth flat? Do tell us. We need to find out. Uh, Scotty, I feel I could uh, listen to you. Thank you, Bebop. That's so good of you. Something called friction. Okay, Caden, spill. Let's get a proper definition of friction that everybody can understand. You know, I know that it, it friction is needed for movement but that it cuts down on efficiency. Uh, the earth's flat because when I was in a plane, it looked flat. Well, you may well have something there. Guys, has anybody ever been on a plane and the earth looks anything other than flat? I took a picture of the plow in my phone tonight. Sean, amazing. Isn't it a gorgeous thing? Is there some kind of special meaning to the plow? because it just looks so beautiful. You know, I like them all. I like the dog and the hunter. Yes, I took a picture of, oh yes, you've just, I've just said that, sorry. If the earth was flat, gravity would pull everything to the center. So trees would be sideways. If the earth's flat, why would you have gravity? And uh, Is it spinning flat? Is it on a flat spin out to sea? <coughs> like, uh, like happened with Maverick and Iceman on uh, Top Gun, in Top Gun. Scotty, happy Friday. Caitlin, lovely to have you with us. Dinky you do. The trees, I am here. Brogbrack just as well. Maybe the earth can shapeshift depending on person perception. How would the earth ship shape to fit a person? We need to get to the truth, guys. I do know the earth has a heartbeat. It's got a frequency. You know? Amazing. So it's in touch with us. Boom. Stephen Braun. Absolutely boom. Good morning, good man. How are you this fine day? Susie, baby. I am absolutely stunningly beautiful as always. And I know you are. Listen. Big discussion. Big debate, Susie. Is the earth round or flat? We're just discussing it right now. Good morning, good man. Absolutely. Scotty, you mentioned earlier you wrote a book. What's it about? Bebop, if you go on to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel, you'll see the URL right below there. And you go on to the YouTube channel and you put in Scotty McClue, Deliver Us From Evil. You'll hear me reading chapter one. Scotty McClue, Deliver Us From Evil. What are you talking about right now, Truta? We're talking about is the earth round or flat? Is it fatter in the middle? Is it pear shaped? Is it pineapple shaped? Is it shaped like a cat? Is one side heavier than the other? We're discussing all this. So never miss a second of Scotty McClue or you miss a moment of life. Follow us, guys, as soon as you come on. I thank you. Very important. Scotty, the earth is flat, says Susie Baby. 
Susie Beebe is a very, very brilliant young lady, and she's telling us the earth is flat. Should we take Susie Beebe at her word, or does anybody believe otherwise? Are you watching the Euros? Just the Scottish games, Angus. I'm not big on football, you know. Uh, we've manifested the gravity. Stephen, I want more in your terms of manifesting gravity. Yes, are you a manifester? I'm no scientist, but friction is two or more objects rubbing against each other. I know. That's why you get friction between you and the wife. <laughs> People just accept concepts like gravity. They don't see it as just a theory. Well, was it not our old chum, Sir Isaac Newton, that discovered gravity? Yes? Now, this is the gravity of the situation. Was he right, or had he just spotted an apple falling from a tree? Uh, so there you go. We just accept it. But do we know? Hey, from Bath in Somerset, Olivia, one of my favorite places on God's earth. Both Somerset and Bath. I know, that's it. That's right. Uh, too much nonsense over the years. That's your problem, says Peter. Yes, indeed. Too much nonsense, Peter. Not everybody has your lifestyle, remember. Uh, maybe the Earth's just a computer simulation. So it's not flat or round. No, no, no. The Earth was a round pre-computer. I would have said Alan Turing, the great Alan Turing, I would have said that he invented the computer um, after the Second World War. Uh, humans' greatest mistake is thinking we know it all and don't question stuff. Bebop, we should be questioning everything. Yeah? I've had a lot of American people on here saying, they want Donald Trump back because he's the genuine article. He is the king. And at the moment, we're just, you know, sitting there waiting for him to come back. Is that true? Do you see what I'm saying? We should question everything. If we fly and spin, how do the stars not move? God's sake, have some sense. Ah. There you go, Susie, babe. There, there we are. We, whoa, we don't want to get on the wrong side of Susie Babe. It's beautiful. It took me a second to respond because here in the US, it's called the Big Dipper. And uh, what's called the Big Dipper? The uh, Plow. Wow. <clears throat> Is that right? Is it the Plow? Are you watching the Euros? Not at the moment. They asked Rounds as Angus. I think gravity existed before we were here. Well, yes, I think you've pulled. Good morning, Scotty. I was on the liking spree last night. Lovely to see Clyde Shakaroni. I noticed. Lovely to have you on there. I'm thinking about doing um, something around the 11, half 11 mark. What do you think? Uh, on Twitter. I'll subscribe to your YouTube channel now, Scotty. Bebop do, because there's 1,500 beautiful videos. Uh, audio, a lot of audio as well for your enjoyment, education, edification, and delight. Everybody in the world should have subscribed to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel. Everyone. Every TikToker should be watching this right now and getting a wee bit of genuine information, education, and entertainment. You know, I mean, it's so interesting. You see, on TikTok, I've noticed, unless you're a really fast-moving, maybe you and your cat dancing, um, with loud music, a lot of young people just stroll by because they can't handle the big talk. But that's not going to change what we do, you know, because from little acorns, great oaks grow. But if you've got a TikTok account, you should be watching Scotty McClure right now. Right, today we're discussing, is the earth round, flat, triangular, pineapple-shaped? Do tell. That's what it's all about. Do you hate England and want them to lose? Hulula, Scotty McClue hates nobody. I've had a wonderful life. I've only met one really, really bad man in my life. He took my life savings in a so-called business deal. He was up for that. 
and uh, I lost my life savings. And that's the only bad man I have ever met. I've met some pretty interesting characters. I've met some very, very, very famous people, but only one bad man. That's not bad, is it? There we are. That's good. Here I've looked into both sides of the argument. The flat earth makes zero sense. Scottish guy, have you looked in just this morning or have you looked in over a period of time? So Scottish guy 2021 is saying the flat earth makes no sense. Anybody want to take that up? From a plane, you can see the curve of the earth. All the other planets are spherical. But Caitlin, just because the other planets are spherical doesn't mean the earth is. Do you see what I'm saying? We might be the odd one out. Guys, if you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue. Hashtag Floatai, the first lord of the internet, the biggest thing on here. How amazing is that? Dink you do. Good morning, Scotty. Good morning, Alfie. Lovely to have you with us. Guys, keep sharing and following me. I need followers. We must start to move the figures. To all of you. That's fantastic. Um, everything starts with a thought. What we've been taught has been a deception. Stephen Braun, I wouldn't say everything we've been taught, but a lot of what we've been told will not have a great foundation in truth. McClue tells the truth. Uh, uh, yeah, I've always said that. Why is the Earth only flat uh, planet star? Why is the Earth the only flat planet star? Kidan. Uh, very interesting. Scotty, I know the Earth's flat because I'm out of this world and can see it. Lol, Susie Baby, you are out of this world. And we love it up. There we are. Uh, tell, tell we, Josh, uh, that Scotty sent a trolley doing the swanee. <laughs> so explain, why does large boats disappear over the horizon? Well, Scottish guy, do they? Or do they just go out of your sight? And you've been told they've disappeared over the horizon. You are know saying? Do you smell? I don't know, Ollie. I've never been in the one in Stockholm. Scotty, do you have any whiskey recommendations? Bebop, I do, but I no longer drink alcohol. I used to be an expert on whiskeys. There are. I probably still am. I just don't drink. If the earth was flat, would you see every large structure? Would you see Mount Everest from Scotland? Well, again, you're out of your sight. In theory, you might well do. FM radio covers line of sight. If you had a very powerful FM transmitter, you could probably get round the world with it. So let's see. You can hear medium wave in Australia. It follows the curvature. Alan Turing was a hero of mine. Just finished reading his life story. Alan Turing was a wonderful, wonderful man and was treated shockingly, horribly, and appallingly by the British government at the time. Shocking. There we are. Chemically castrated just because he was gay. You know, and uh, he took his life at 54. Poor love. He would be depressed with the tablets. What's your favorite cheese? I like a wee touch of the Stilton. There we are. Uh, so good stuff. Are you here every day? You used to listen to your late night radio a long time ago. Meadow Maid, yes, we do a lot of lives. Go on to the TikTok videos, Meadow Maid, and get on to the Scotty McClue YouTube channel and subscribe big time. There is nothing to stop everyone on the internet following Scotty McClue on TikTok and YouTube. Also, I'm going to start going on Twitter and creating a Twitter space. That means you can come on and have your say. Fantastic. That sounds good to me, Scotty. Shakaroni, top man. I'm bored already. Darkness, you will always be bored because you're using your mind as a tiny, tiny mind. So nothing will ever interest you until you wake up 
and start acquiring knowledge, listening to Scotty McClue, trying to understand, asking questions, looking for ideas, talking to other people. Yeah, otherwise your whole life you will be bored because you've shut your mind off. Okay, you are just a zombie. Yeah, anybody that's bored is a zombie. All right, okay, there you go. Darkness with is a zombie. All right, son, that's you. Uh, Darkness with no one asked me. Yeah, Kaden, absolutely. No one asked you, Darkness, nor ever would anyone ask you because you don't know because you are a zombie. All right, the earth's a ball in heaven's pool table. That's why we get earthquakes and rain is tears from the loser. Blocky horror show. You could be on to something there. How amazing is that? Hello, sir, I sense a spirit in that room. You are quite right, Mega. I am the spirit in the room. Tremendous. So every Navy personnel I know uses navigation tools based on a round earth, is lying. No, it's just what you do is unzip one side of the earth and lay it flat. Navigation would be the same. Yeah, got it? I had an uncle went across the world or around the world, depending on your point of view, seven times in his career. Period of time, absolutely Scottish. Uh, Scotty, I find it funny the earth was flat. How many people would be lying? Well, how many people are lying now is what we're trying to find out. <laughs> it makes just as much sense as the globe theory. What, to have it flat? Yeah, stretch it out. I mean, you get a map. That map's not round unless you buy a globe, a little tin globe like we had. So lay it out flat and see what you think. Explain night and day. Well, I don't think that's anything to do with uh, the earth going round. What you could find is for a certain number of earth, for a certain number of hours, the sun is up, it rises from the flat earth and shines. Then it goes down and on a sort of spigot, up comes the moon. Yeah, like the weatherman and the weather woman good and out the wee house. The sun and the moon go up and down. Fantastic. Dinky do. It's definitely round. Just ask NASA, Scotty. Yeah, but Shakaroni, you know, I remember when in my NASA interview, they said to me, tell us what you think the job's about. And I just said, well, it's not rocket science, is it? You know, but there we go. But, but if you're asking NASA, you know, would they think, well, yes, it might be. But then would you send your rockets up or across? Why is daylight in Scotland and nighttime in Australia? Again, up and down. You know, one's dark one side. You know, have you never gone into a room looking for something and the light shines on one bit, but you're, the other bit's in darkness? There we are, dinky do. Scotty, I agree. Why do NASA use false pictures, says Stephen? Wow, Stephen, you are one advanced thinker. Yes, indeed. So you think that some of the pictures don't tell the whole picture, if you'll pardon the pun. There we are. Do find out. We don't know that NASA would ever do that. Why would they do that, is my question to you. But what you're saying is, they're maybe not selling the whole picture. Out of my sight, if the earth was flat, I'd still be able to see them with a telescope. Scottish guy, correct? Yes, indeed, you would. And I'm sure Sean would back us up there. Fantastic. Scotty, the earth can't be flat because the orbital axis of rotation. How do you know the earth goes round? How do you know there is an orbital axis? How do you know that? Yes, share this right now, everybody. Please tell all your friends. Follow us as soon as you come on. Thanks, Jack. Would you consider running for prime minister uh, in, the, in the United Kingdom? 
My only problem with being the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom is that the house is quite small. I'm not sure I want to go to a smaller house even for five years, four years or whatever it is. Do you know what I mean? Uh, you know, and also if your Prime Minister everybody tries to tell you what to do, if I was Prime Minister, I would tell them what to do. Do you get it? So my advisors would be doing what I told them. Are you with me? So I might not make the best prime minister because it helps if you just do what you're told. There we go. Thank you. Wonderful to have you with us. Follow us, guys. Earth's axial tilt is about 23.5 degrees. Andy, who has told you that? Who has stuffed your head with that? You know? Why can we feel the Earth spin at 3,000 miles an hour? Because we are still. So now, Stephen, so what you're saying is, we would feel the earth spinning. Yeah? Stephen's a very advanced thinker, guys, but we do need to question his thinking. What does the sun, planets, and moon always rise in the east? Because we spin easterly. No, no. No, no, the earth is sitting quietly, flat, and it's got a north, south, east, and west. <laughs> it's got the compass. <clears throat> so you've got your flat earth and your north, south, east, and west. Remember, it was Christopher Columbus and Vasco da Gama and people like that that discovered the earth was round. Were they reliable? Because long before that would be a north, south, east, and west. North, south, east, and west is very, very ancient. It goes right back to the beginning of time. All right, so there we go. Now, who have we got here? I'm a sponge. I love to learn. Blocky horror. You and me both. I am a massive sponge. My clue is falling down with the weight of knowledge, but I've only scratched the surface. There we are. Can you do a zombie impression of darkness? Shakaroni. Darkness is a zombie. That's why he's bored. I never, ever, ever have heard anybody before say they were bored watching Scotty McClue. It's always been the complete antithesis. Scotty, you could never get bored watching you. So there you are, fantastic. OMG, I'm dyslexic. Dyslexic pride, well done. Uh, good morning, Scotty. Thank you, do. Lauren. How lovely to have you with us, Lauren Princess. How did you explain why you see the top of a distant object? before you see the bottom. At distance, you might be going up a hill. That's not to say there aren't ups and downs on the flat earth. <coughs> you see? If the earth was flat, why are there time zones? Just because of the distance, because of the way the sun and the moon go up and down. Yes, at different times. Are you with us? Good question. Fantastic. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Nobby. Lovely to have you with us, Nobby. Uh, welcome, guys. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue. This is the big one. Just for you, dinky-doo. I've just realized it's passed in a flash. This has been such a good show today. We're nearly out of time. Five more minutes. Five more minutes. Time is just another man-made illusion. Okay, Stephen. We're nearly out of a man-made illusion. Right. Why do we talk about Australia being down under? Because if you stretched out your flat earth map, it's at the bottom right. It's down under. It's down under Russia, China, and Japan. How good is that? I think we need to continue this. Why do we talk about that, eh? Or your logic, that means there would be no time zones. No, Scottish guy, the logic, yeah, I mean, who's to say logic's correct? Where did you get that from, you see? It's a thought, isn't it, once you open the game up, because it's in the southern hemisphere. Correct. There you are. Uh, I think you would do a good job, Scotty. As British Prime Minister, my problem is I can't 
tell you lies. And if people said to me, can you just tell them that and they'll believe it because you're the prime minister, I would say, I'm sorry, I can't. I can't tell a lie. So there you are. So we need a, a prime minister that just can't tell a lie. Say, good evening, everybody. It's me, Scotty McClue. I have to tell you all the truth tonight of what's happening in Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Could you imagine a broadcast like that? All your advisors shouting, don't tell them that. You know, all that stuff. So there you go. Why do you speak like that? Would you rather I spoke like this? That's what I'm asking you. You're not posh. You are correct, Connor. I am not posh. Uh, fantastic. It's the way he speaks. This is just the way I speak. NASA doesn't use fake pictures. It's just they take them in black and white and then they colorize them. That's it, of course. With your logic, Australia and Scotland would be daytime at the same time. No Scottish guy, because the time zones change because one's down the bottom. So it's closer to the up and down of the sun and the moon. Yeah? Okay, okay. Scots support England. Uh, yes, a lot of them do, all the time. Why not? England's a beautiful country stuffed with beautiful people. There we are. A flat earth compass wouldn't work. How not? You know, if the north is magnetic, you've got the north pole there. You see, people would be falling off the South Pole and be going into orbit if the Earth was round. Or it's ultraviolet light, which is invisible, so they have to assign colors to different wavelengths. Sean, how amazing are you? Why is Scotty McClue so privileged to talk to such amazing people? That's what I would say. My goodness, I must go. Hello, big man, did you do? You look like Jeremy Corbyn. Will, what a lovely, lovely comment. I am apolitical, but Jeremy Corbyn is a thoroughly decent human being, and he was very, very, very nearly Prime Minister of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. And I would have liked to seen him as a Prime Minister because he was the genuine article. He cared about people. Yeah. Because a lot of politicians, no names, no pack drill, only care about themselves. They couldn't give two about me and you. I just said, put me first there, because it rhymed. All right. So thank you for that, woman. What a lovely thing to say. Uh, 2323 time isn't an illusion. It exists. Explain a sundial in someone's garden. Yes, the time that the sun is up and goes down. Good morning, Scotty. Do you believe the earth is flat? I haven't been convinced either way yet. Uh, that's what good discussions are about. I miss the rage. Rory, we're not allowed the rage. TikTok would just stop it. You know what I mean, sadly. But the rage is all still there. I need to go. You've been awesome. Thank you. See you soon. Blocky Horror. Lovely to have you with us. Thank you. Fantastic. Hemisphere, correct. There we go. It shows we spin. You're a posh Scotsman, to be fair. Not a tall Scottish guy. I'm nothing to the way most Scots speak. They are very posh. Don't get many politicians that care. In that case, Lauren, why do we bother? Explain how we can see the moon through the day if it goes up and down. Uh, because it's, it, well, maybe it doesn't go up and down. Maybe they're both up, you see? And it just depends where you're looking, how clear the skies are. Guys, I have to dash. We're out of time. I love you guys. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vita zain. Au revoir and a cheerio. Ta-ra, lads. Dinky-doo.